Hello, hello. It is Sunday afternoon, Mother's Day. I want to congratulate all the moms out there. I want to give a shout out to my mom and my sister and all my friends who are mothers and to all of you who are mothers as well. Um, I hope today has been a great day for you so far and will continue to be beautiful for you. Today, we are going to make a card that it uses our embossing um, folders. And I'm going to show you how it's very simple. It's a little tricky. You have to kind of, I went through it two or three times. I tried it before I finally got it to look the way I want to. So I'm hoping even the one I do today turns out okay. But this is what it looks like. And um, I will just go ahead and get started with that. We, I'm going to show you the stamp sets and stuff that I'm using, and uh, then we'll get into it. I'm using the Countryside Corners Clean Stamp Set. I'm not really using the stamps today. I'm, I used the uh, die cut to get the tag for my sentiment, and I'm using this embossing folder, um, the Countryside Blooms embossing folder, and that makes the front of our card, okay? And I will show you how that's all done. My sentiment I took from the Timeless Tulip stamp set, and I'm using what a di beautiful difference one single life makes. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that right away so that we have it all set to go. I'm using my Starry Sky ink. That down right there. Perfect. Okay. My hands are all inky <laughs> because I've been working on this. And so I look a mess, but it's really not that bad. Okay. <laughs> um, what you will need is eight, five and a half by eight and a half sheet of paper. This is the starry sky of the cardstock. And uh, you score it at four and a quarter. You'll need two pieces of basic white that are five and a quarter by four. One will be for the inside of the card, and the other uh, is the one that we are going to be stamping on or inking up, embossing, all those good things. Okay, the um, adhesives that we're using today are the mini glue dots my Stampin' Seal, and some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to be using some of my borders from my dimensionals so that I don't waste anything in there. The embellishment that we're using is our, oh, let's see, metallic, gold metallic, let me see if I, satin edged ribbon. Uh, and um, we're going to be using that on our card today. And then um, also... I'm using my blending brushes, which you'll see me work with in just a little bit. And I brought out my Wink of Stella. I haven't used my Wink of Stella in a long time. And I think it just is very appropriate for this card. So I think that pretty much does it. I'm going to show you the colors of ink we will be using. The Azure Afternoon, Pumpkin Pie, Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight, and Melon Mambo. And then, of course, the starry sky. So we are going to go through this. If you see any products that you would like today, be sure to go to my shop at creatingcardswithsherry.stampinup.net. Use the host code WE74T7CF to get the um, directions and measurements and stuff. You can go to my blog spot at creatingcardswithsherry.blogspot.com. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to choose the colors that you want on your um, top piece. And I decided to go with all bright. So I'm going to use this. Um, I'm going to start with the Azure and I'm just going to take random different spots to put some ink on. And I want to make it fairly dark because that's what will help it pop. Okay. 
I got this idea from Lisa Freeman. She's another demonstrator, and she's with um she her site is Stampin' with Lisa, and um you can go ahead and visit her site. She does a wonderful job. She's been with Stampin' Up for like twenty years, far much longer than I have, but um she does some great stuff, and I love watching what she does as well and learning from her. Okay, that was my pumpkin pie. Now I'm going to take my granny apple green. And I'm just randomly putting these colors wherever I wish to. And what you're going to try to do is make sure that you fill up all the space. That's basically what you're doing. I'm taking the daffodil delight. And I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to go around with it. Then I'm using the Melon Mambo. And I'm just going to fill in some spots that I think need a little more color. And that should be the end of it. That should be our card. The top layer. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to take the, a dark color. Um, they say the dark color is the best because it helps pop the colors. And Lisa did it where she took the whole pad and she carefully, lightly put the color over the card. Well, I tried that and I don't know. <laughs> I just made a mess. <laughs> And uh, was not happy with it. So I decided to try it a little differently. And I took the Starry Sky and a blending brush. And I just went over the top of it. Because I knew I could do that lightly. <laughs> and you just kind of go over the top of your card. And you get it as dark as you want, I suppose. That's good enough for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in our stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to try to do this here with you so that you can see how it works. It might shake my table. That's what I'm afraid of. And that's why I don't always do the embossing and the cutting on this table because it does shake. But I want you to see how this works. So I'm just going to put my machine up here. And we have our base plate. I don't need the cutting plate. And then we have two clear plates. And the embossing folder goes in between them. Now you can put your piece in either way you want. You can put it so that. The embossment is there's a raised side and an indented side to these pictures. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see. This is indented, and then this is a raised. Or wait, no, I'm sorry. This is the indented, and this is raised. Um, but anyway, the side that has this has the Stampin' Up picture. That's the raised side. If you don't want it raised, just flip it over and it'll it'll go on the other side. Okay. I chose to have it raised. Lisa did it not raised. I like it better raised. That's just me. And it's just your preference. So you put that all together and you run it through the machine. Whoops, very quickly. Comes out like that. Okay, isn't that nice? I just love how these work. Okay, we're going to take the Starry Sky piece that I have and I am going to 
use my Stampin' Steel and I'm going to put my inside layer on. And I'm going to put stamp a seal on the back of this, and this will be the top layer of my card. And I had cut out um, one of the tags from the uh, country corners countryside corners and I cut out the tag and then of course we stamped it so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that on with stamping dimensionals and I'm using my border so that I don't waste any of this That's sticky Gonna cut this in half about. One side there. Get it off. And one side here. And then I'm just gonna lay that on my card and by the way this um cutout is done with shimmery white paper so you might want to try that as well it's not the basic white that's real bright it's the shimmery white okay and then i've got my bow all ready to go i'm going to grab my mini glue dots to adhere that Just going to put that right there on the bottom of that tag. And there we go. There's our beautiful card. Aren't those nice? And it was so simple to do. I used the same colors, just randomly colored them differently. So they look different. Every card is different, but they're all unique and beautiful. Now, the one other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my Wink of Stella and I'm just going to spread that around. We'll just get a marker here to tap it on and I know that you can't see it very well but it is coming out and it is putting a nice sparkle to the card. It's hard to see it on the camera so I'll bring this up and see if we can find it but I don't know that we will. No, it's not showing it but it is there. You'll just have to trust me. <laughs> All right. Well, that is our card for today and how you do a layered embossing card. And um, not hard to do, just be prepared to get inky and uh, have a great time with it. Well, you have a wonderful day and I will see you again next week at my next Pickle Tuesday video. Bye now.